Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a script that runs scripts in other applications. So essentially, if you were in After Effects, you could run a script in Premiere or an Extend Script or a Media Encoder, or if you were starting from Extend Script, you can run uh, in any program. We're gonna be using the Bridge Talk object, which I've talked about in a previous tutorial, which you can check out in the description. But in this quick tip, I'm just gonna show you how to very quickly take previously existing scripts you have in a folder, uh, you can see here I have two test scripts, one to create a slideshow in Premiere and the other to organize your project in Premiere. And I'm gonna easily be able to run both of these from any application. Now it's just easiest of course to run them in extend script so I can show you, but you can basically launch this script in any application and then send the target to be Premiere. So what I have is a new bridge talk object, which is just a basically built in object that allows us to communicate between applications made by Adobe. Then we're creating a script file object to represent our script, which is located in my test scripts and Adobe Premiere slideshow generator. I can also actually duplicate this and just say maybe script file two. And instead of just this, I'm gonna change the text to my other script here. So now we have a variable for each of these uh, script files, and now we can go ahead and read the contents of them. So what we're gonna do is open up our first script file, open it for reading, and we're gonna have script text equal to the, all the contents that we read from that. And then we'll close up the file to make sure there's no issues with memory. And since we've created this other one to represent our other script file, what we can do is then open up uh, script file two, create a variable called script text two rather than script text. And then again, we need to change all of these to be the second script file. So now we'll have two variables, one with the text of our first script and one with the text of the other. If I go ahead and comment out this code and just alert each of these so we can see what the contents of the script text variables are. We'll do one for script text and one for two. And now when I run it, you can see it's going to load up a giant block of text. This has some comments and then the main code from the JavaScript file. And then the second one is our project organizer, which has all the text and code from that as well. So we're getting the proper contents. All we need to do now is send these using our bridge talk variable. So we're gonna call our bridge talk BT and then we're gonna target it to Premiere. If you have multiple versions of Premiere installed on your computer, it's gonna load up a certain version by default. So I've specified version 12 by in Premiere going to help about, and then just checking uh, what version I'm using 12. So version 12.0 is our target. And of course, if you need the full list, you can open up the JavaScript tools guide. Uh, in extend script, you can access it under help JavaScript tools guide. And down on page 192, here are a list of all the application specifiers, uh, everything from After Effects to Bridge to Flash to Illustrator to uh, Media Encoder. All of the ways to uh, communicate between them are using these names here. So we're then gonna set the body of our message we're sending uh, to whatever program to be the script text. Um, so in the first example, we'll run the first script and then secondly, we'll run the other script to make sure it works. And in order for our application to sort of read or activate the message that the code is being sent through, we need to call dot send, which will send the message and it will be opened by the program, so to speak, to run the code. So if I go ahead and uh, delete this and we're gonna run the script text, so it should run our Premiere slideshow generator. And again, I'm in ex extend script, running in extend script. Um, I could run the script in After Effects and it would do the same thing. So what it's done is launch the script basically inside of Premiere and it wants me to select a folder to create a slideshow with. So I'll just choose some backgrounds and click on OK. And how many seconds per image. And then it's gonna run through and create our composition or run our script, whatever it's going to do. And it's done that through any application we want. So you could be in After Effects, you could be in Extend Script, you could be in Adobe Illustrator, run this script and it will create a video. Let's go ahead and try our second script text, script text two, which should run a project organizer. In order to better illustrate this, I'm going to sort of mess up the folder structure this other script made, and then import some random other stuff just so we can get it organized. So now if I again run as our body our second script, boom, it's gone through and run the script which is designed to organize all of our resource files in our Premiere project uh, into various folders.
So that's gonna be this quick tip for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to run script files in any application inside of another application. Uh, you can check out all of the different uh, stuff inside of the JavaScript tools guide that explains how to access the different programs. And then you can go forward and run applications back and forth and have them communicate. So thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed, leave the thumbs up, hit subscribe to be notified of when new videos are coming out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.